Get ready for an inside look at the extravagant world of Yegevny Prigozhin, the chief of the Wagner mercenary group. A recent raid by the Russian security service on Prigozhin's mansion uncovered a series of astonishing discoveries. Russian media outlet Izvestia published photos and footage showcasing the astonishing findings. Prigozhin made headlines last month when he took control of Rostov-on-Don, a city in southern Russia. However, he eventually stood down following a deal brokered by Belarusian President Alexander Lukashenko. The agreement was meant to secure Prigozhin's relocation to Belarus and the dropping of the criminal charges against him and the Wagner Group. However, during the Russia 1 broadcast, it was revealed that the investigation into the attempted mutiny is ongoing. Prigozhin's mansion itself is a spectacle, featuring sprawling indoor swimming pools with slides and even a jacuzzi, with rooms adorned with glass chandeliers. Among the findings were various assault weapons, pistols, ammunition and even macabre photographs depicting severed heads. They also found an oversized sledgehammer and a stuffed alligator. The raid also uncovered a wardrobe filled with a collection of wigs, ranging in colours, along with various passports. It seems that Prigozhin had an affinity for disguises, as leaked photos revealed him wearing the wigs during trips to African and Middle Eastern countries, where the Wagner Group had a presence. The Rossiya One TV channel aired a program called 60 Minutes, revealing that 600 million rubles in cash were discovered within Prigozhin's property. The program also highlighted the existence of multiple passports under different names, raising questions about Prigozhin's activities and affiliations.